Hey guys, welcome back. I I tell I told in some in previous video I want to show uh, you some uh, five color deck. So here it is. It's called Tazri Tribute, and uh, let me show you why it is. Well, this uh, deck is allies deck. Uh, five color it cause we have channel Tazri obviously in our deck and because uh, of his ability to mm, do stuff and pump our allies um, let me show first what do we have here we have core blood world two copies uh, given first strike on rally we have three copies of Calastria healer to maybe uh, deal some damage and gain some life if we need to uh, we have two copies of selvan advocate it's uh, ally and it's very good card uh, for Offense and defense, especially if we have six or more lands uh, at the battlefield. We have three copies of Skyrider Elf. Uh, he has Converge, and uh, since we have five uh, mana, and obviously we can make him 5-5. Five, five. And he's flying, so it's pretty good creature. We have Nissa Steward of Elements. Uh, she will uh, help us to scry and look for our uh, maybe lands to fix it, or just uh, dropping some cards on the board, especially if we can um, prepare to do with his scries. Then we have Lantern Scout, another ally which gives us lifelink uh, on rally when uh, he or another ally enters the battlefield. We have two copies of Appetite for Natural to destroy artifacts or enchantments our opponent possess and gain some life as well. We have two copies of Anguish and Making to deal with permanents we want to destroy, uh, be it uh, Planeswalkers or indestructible creatures. Uh, two copies of Disintegration to destroy target creatures. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any artifacts in our hand, but uh, in our um, deck, but still, it's just um, unconditional removal so it's uh, pretty good even without uh, those three damage to uh, our mm, opponent two copies of chasm guide it's another ally with rally and he giving haste to our creatures pretty uh, handy sometimes two copies of manda ambush leader another hasty creature he's legendary and he has rally he's looking in top four cards of our library uh, for uh, and other allies and put in on top of our library in any order and rest at the bottom of uh, our library so uh, basically it's a very good uh, source to just refill our hands with creatures uh, we don't have uh, very much uh, well we have only 18 creatures in our deck but still it's pretty handy ability we have two copies of bounty of the luxa uh, this is uh, enchantment that should help us uh, refill our hand and maybe giving them us some uh, mana advantage if we need to two copies of glimmer of genius another scry and draw source we probably will need in our games one copy of language uh, to remove creatures uh, we want to remove especially a lot of tokens Gideon Elio von Zandikar, it's pretty obvious to drop <laughs> this Prince of Walking Sage deck. He can generate a light token and uh, will mm, trigger off uh, all our rally abilities, so it's pretty cool. Also, he is a lie himself, and um, which is pretty fancy. We have Tamir Field Researcher and another. Uh, tempo game we can tap uh, permanence our opponent control and we can or we can plus her and get, give it, get some card advantage general to three and this is the, the card uh, which was uh, the uh, main reason I've built this deck um, he is looking for a like Risha card, reveal it and put in our hand and shuffles our library but uh, his most significant ability that when we pay five colors he will pump all of our like creatures uh, plus x plus x until end of turn where x is the number of colors among these creatures and uh, this is one of the reasons uh, why we have all the colors uh, in our allies. We have red uh, with our uh, Manda and uh, Chasm Guide Manda as well as uh, white. We have Lantern Scout and uh, Whirl, uh, Blade Whirl as white creatures. We have Sylvan Advocate, 
green sky rider green and blue and cluster is, is black so if you ha happen to have all of them at the board our creatures will pump up to 5-5 so it's uh, really powerful uh, even if you have only um, only two or three colors it's still very good uh, the only non ally creature we have is Arch uh, Archangel Everson, but uh, given our creatures indestructible, sometimes it's very good. Also, she's just uh, one of the sources uh, to wipe our opponent's board if we need to. We can somehow kill our unit and mm, just uh, give her proc, uh, and she will destroy uh, opponent's board. We can even uh, target our own ally with uh, disintegration if we need to. I'm sorry. We have one copy of, of, of Prisma Ray. It's pretty fancy enchantment uh, with Converge. Uh, and since we have five uh, colors, we can put five counters on it and have a lot of tempo. Uh, tapping uh, creatures our opponent has and prevent it from defense or from offense. It doesn't really matter. Also, uh, five colors. Uh, when we play five colors, we can scry for three, which is pretty powerful. One copy of Planar Outburst, just to mm, wipe the board if we need to. And our mana base, we have 26 lands here. We have two copies of planes, uh, two copies of islands, one copy of uh, other uh, colors, two Lumbering Falls, two smol Smoldering Marsh, two Sunken Hollow, two Cinder Glade, two Canopy Vista, uh, two Prayer Stream, two Woodland Cemetery, one copy of Glassel Fortress, one copy of Sun Petal Grove, and three copies of Ever Wilds. Uh, I didn't drop four uh, Ever Wilds since we don't have much of our uh, uh, basics, and somehow and sometime Ever Wilds can be just a dead card in our hands when we have all of them on the board. So uh, here is the deck and. Uh, Let's check in the battles. <coughs> Let's see, we're on the play. Pretty nice. So, mm, well, this is pretty good. So we can go for two tapped lands uh, at the start. We'll see, we'll have uh, another basic. We can go for blue into basic. We have Bounty of the Luxa, so we can use it at turn 4. We have our London Scout uh, for next turn. Well, cool. Angushan making is pretty nice. I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to. Well, uh, at this point, I think that uh, blue is better since we have two cards that uh, require blue and only one for black, so. It's fine, okay, our opponent has uh, discard outlets, so mm, he will probably use, uh, he's probably using uh, umpire's deck. Let's drop our blade wheel, blade wheel even, and see if our opponent has any removal for it. Yeah, magma spray, fine. So scary. Okay, well he has Crusher, which is a so powerful, hasty creature in certain type of decks. Mm, he can exert and prevent us from blocking, which we are not going to do right now. We're going to drop our Bounty of the Luxa and have some card advantage. Also, Gideon is pretty nice. We can drop him maybe later, or we can drop him and uh, use Emblem. We'll see. Or we can drop him when our bounty will give us some uh, mana. We can drop Gideon, maybe kill his threats with Anguish on Making. We'll see. Okay, but wood mud vampire is not fancy to be honest. 
So it's vampires, vampire hasty beat down deck. He can probably kill us right now. He has a lot of power on the board at this moment. Well, uh, this is pretty good, Tamiya. We can tap his creatures. And they will stay tapped. So, next turn we will have our Gideon. Or maybe Lantern Scout, we will see. We'll see if our opponent has no hasty creature. And our Tamiya will survive. We can tap again couple of his creatures, we of course will lose our Temi, but fine. Or maybe we can go for Gideon plus Tamiya, both of his creatures. Make a lie. We will lose our Gideon, but we can drop a scout later. We'll see. So no plays from our opponent, it's cool. He probably will go for mm, madness. We'll see. Okay, Evil Wilds. Evil Wilds is fine. So let's check what do we have. We have two black, a lot of... Uh -huh. So we probably need another blue here. So let's go for Gideon. And we can glimmer. So our uh, just to use uh, all the lands we have. Mm, another bounce. It's pretty fancy. Of course, we need some um, some action. So now he can go for Crash, Exert it and kill both of our uh, Planeswalkers, uh, but okay, this can happen sometimes. Uh, next turn we will have, okay, he's going for cut, so he won't even uh, exert anyone, At, uh, but he will provide us with uh, two additional cards, which is pretty nice. Oh, he is even uh, leaving our Gideon. Interesting. He wants to buff his vampire. It's okay. We will still have two uh, cards from Tameo and two cards from Bouncer's Luxa. Let's see. So, um, we can drop uh, Colastria Healer, we can drop Lantern's Count, we can. Uh, make our uh, Gideon LA and he will uh, deal 5 damage with um, lifelink I think it's good play here so one two should we drop uh, if we will drop cemetery we will have seven on top lands and we have we have five uh, we can't play anything anyway so lumbering falls is a play here. Let's go for making Gideon and go for Calastra Healer into Lantern Scout. Getting some life, hitting our opponent for 5 and getting a little bit more life. So we are probably just a little bit uh, farther from our death. We'll see. So now he need to deal with our creatures and with our Gideon. He still can exert and he still probably has a lot of removals in his hand. Mm, but that's fine. At least we are getting a little bit more of our uh, life. 17 is a little bit better than 10 in terms of uh, facing mm, aggro deck. Okay, so he's thinking. 
We can uh, use our Tazri to grab uh, another Lantern Scout if he will remove ours. We'll see. Also, we have Chasm Guide next turn. Uh, and still, if our uh, if uh, our scout will survive, it's going to be pretty good. So, he probably goes for our face. We'll see if he does. And if he will... Okay, so he's going for Gideon. I don't really mind. I will... Uh, he probably now will exert his creature. Uh, looks like he's a little bit confused. What he should do. And he will prevent probably our Colostra Healer from the blocks. So. Anything happens? Oh no. Okay, so he's exerting. <coughs> Let's see. Now he's making choices. Oh boy. This is... Well, that was a bad move, to be honest. Unless he has any... Mm, I don't know. Trample. I don't really care if my Colostra healer will die. Stamina. Okay. Okay, fine. So he's... Uh, he used his uh, stamina just for nothing, to be honest. And let's we see what can we do here. Well, we can do a lot of stuff, I believe. So let's go for Smoldering Marsh. Let's go for General Tazri. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's go for our um, Silver Advocate. Uh, now we can cast him. And just for lulz, we go for our Chi. Chasm Guide and do some damage to our opponent. Let's see if he has anything to <laughs> answer us. So, nope. And this is a game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, <laughs> let's check another game. <coughs> okay, let's see. On the play. Uh, okay, let's keep it. We don't have uh, white, though. But still. We have uh, Sylvan Advocate. So he's pretty decent blocker. And we have disintegration to deal with the units so opponent can drop to the board. So we'll see. Depends. Probably we'll go for Cinder Glade next turn. Okay, Child of the Night. I don't much care about her. Okay, so here's a white. Let's drop Canopy Vista. Proceed with attack. We'll see, depend on his next play. We can drop Cinder Glade into Scout and. through his child of night uh, maybe we will need to use our disintegration but uh, cartouche of solidarity okay and nimba swings oh boy so much good stuff so much good stuff so you're going to attack I will let him I will drop my scout, 
uh, and cinder glade so I will heal myself as well and then I will have my disintegration available fine here here Even if he blocks, uh, I still have my life back, so it's fine. Not sure what the, he's thinking of. I'm tapped out. I al already played my land, so there is no point in thinking so long. So let's see probably need well we have uh, we'll probably need another red source since we have a lot of uh, other sources and double or maybe not maybe white yeah we need white white, white is better Mm. So he's afraid to lose his child of night. That's understandable. Or maybe he just wants to <coughs> block me. Okay, let's go for white. Now we have anguish unmaking, disintegration. And we can use it. We can kill his combo. Since this guy is really nasty. Wings. Okay. And another Nimbus Wings. Wow. So much fancy stuff here. So he's keeping his combo. We will kill this bitch. Yep, he will damage us but so be it now we can kill his combo and unfortunately we have lands uh, uh, well our Sylvanado card starts to be big so we can go and attack with him he can't block with his Soldier, of course he can block just just block with his combo, but he is not going to. Okay. Uh, well, <coughs> anguish and anguish and making his combo will deal five damage to us, which is pretty bad. But and we need some of our allies to grab health back. Um, okay, so he's going to attack. I will kill this guy. Yeah, 5 damage is pretty nasty, but okay, that's something we need to do. I hope we will find our, any of our guys somewhere soon. Celestial Flare, okay. That's not fun. But still, we still need some of our creatures to show off, or maybe something else. Maybe another disintegration to kill his unit. Okay, rid of bones is not fine. Uh, well, maybe something. Tazri could be nice. Maybe. So we can grab Tazri. We can. Uh, Get another unit in uh, other color. Okay, harvester. And he can use his harvester to deal. Uh, well, he can use his 
uh, Vigilance Warrior to crew his Harvester. We don't have much time left, to be honest. And getting only lands is not very fun, to be... Uh, to say the least. Okay, okay, time is fine here. So we can dub these two guys. Um, maybe even not. Maybe even not. And for uh, well, in fact, no. If uh, I won't tap them, he can get something next turn. So we will just tap this. <coughs> if he will have any creatures, so or he can crew his harvester. It's going not not going to be very fun. And we will die. So he's not casting anything. Okay. Okay, we have our blood world, so it's pretty good. We can take some health. And now I think that giving it like here going to be nice. I don't really want to lose my Tamiya. Seven uh, life is putting me out of his creatures, so... And uh, this is just great. <coughs> it's just great draw, so... Of course he has uh, Celestial Flare, so let's see. Nimbus Wings, okay. So I believe he's going to try and kill my Tamiya. Even, um, even if he has Flare, uh, still my Tamiya survives, survives uh, despite of my everything dies, but... Oh, he going, going, yeah, he's going to my Tamiya. <coughs> and we have another draw. Which is unfortunately land. Mm. Well, this is not fun, but okay. so fancy well but at least we have draws and we have Tamiya she, she will survive harvester attack if you will have anything even we have our skyrider elf <coughs> so probably we already secure this game not sure, but we'll see. Uh -huh. Read the bones, okay. Wonder if he got any good stuff. He probably didn't. Um, to be honest, at this point, if he even somehow uh, wipe my board, uh, probably uh, something like. Uh, 
okay, reprisal. Reprisal is fine. Uh, he probably have uh, maybe blessed talents in his hand uh, since he is not uh, leaving. Uh, but at this point, I will not give him a chance to use it. Blood Viral. Plus an Temio here and here. And uh, going for attack. Okay. Well, fine. Let's check another game, maybe. Okay, let's see. We want to draw. Mm, well, keepable. We have uh, three colors. So we have appetite. We have bounty. We need black and red. Glacier Fortress, so we can cast our Bounty of the Luxa at some point. <coughs> but still, black could be nice here. Jedi of Shoot, so probably some ramp. Maybe not. Oh, cool. So, Smoldering Marsh. Though I'm not sure if I want to drop healer right now, we will see if he has any attackers. Okay, read the bones. So prairie stream next turn into bounce of the Luxa. <coughs> since he has black, he has uh, removals. Oh, maybe we can drop one healer since we have another one. Mitigating his uh, life gain from offshoot a little bit. Draw it of the cow. So he's <coughs> most probably a ramping deck. Okay, uh, we can drop Sunken Hollow, so Glacial Fortress into Bounty. And let's stay at defense, no point in attacks. So, now we will have some card draw. If our Bounty survives, probably he has Rex Age, I don't know. Uh, we will see, we probably we can drop uh, Sunken Hollow next turn into Healer, Oblivion Sower, okay. Not sure if he will ramp from us. And we lost our Blood Burst and we lost Tazri, unfortunately. It's not cool, well, but that shit happens. Okay, we have Tamiya, which is nice, so let's see, should we go for, we can go Swamp into Healer. I can use my English and make him at his turn. Now he has eight uh, available mana. Still eight, but uh, ten most probably next turn. So I'm not really sure if I. Mm, okay, Green Warden. Green Warden is fine, I believe. So. Okay, he's going for attack, I won't block now. I think that um, 
If he went for read the bones, he probably uh, don't have uh, yet his Ulamog, so destroying his Murasa would be nice. So we can go for Temio. Sunken Hollow plus here and here. Let's see if he wants to attack or if he wants to look for cards with his read the bones. Still, at any case, we can <coughs> block with our healer. Okay, explosive vegetations. Probably we need uh, to find our second ambush I'm making for the future Ulamog. I'm pretty sure that he has one. And here is Rid the Bones. Let's see if he's going to attack us. Probably he won't. Oh, he, he is. Okay. So let's go for block, get into cards. Oh, boy. Interesting. So this is good, I think. Well, <laughs> to be honest, uh, if he has Ulamog, unfortunately we have no answer to him right now. And if he won't uh, get our anguish and making, uh, it won't be very good for us. And Tireless Tracker is no good. And Sorin is not fine. <laughs> okay, so he got a lot of good stuff. Oh, he's plusing. Interesting. Wonder why he could kill one of our. Mm, he could kill one of our planeswalkers right away. Okay, he's going for attack, giving us another two cards. Mm -hmm. To be honest, this is pretty interesting. So we can do this stuff. Killing his creatures. Get our Manda out. Can you please use this stuff here? Yeah, I want to check. Uh, Bleed Whirl could be nice. Let's keep him. So, mm, we can either plus uh, our Temio and we kill him. We will kill his Sorin. Mm. Yeah, let's plus. 
There is no point in using not at Oblivion Source since we will have So now we will get our core so we can drop him at the board and probably survive his solar attack. And yeah, another bleed wheel. So now he has no Ulamog mm. and if he will even remove our Bloodwear with maybe some murder still our Temio can survive I believe so even, even if he has enough land to activate both of his Krogmires it won't be enough to kill both of our Planeswalkers and he probably won't, didn't, don't want uh, to ultimate. Well, he uh, probably is not. I'm sorry. <laughs> he he doesn't want uh, Tamio to ultimate. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Uh huh. So he's going for her. Uh, let's. Keep her alive for a while. So let's see. I don't really care what this. So we have our score. We have our healer. Let's see. We can drop blocker from Gideon. Probably. No, we can. We can even. We can even minus him. Let's see. Can we go for cluster healer? Uh, yep. Let's check. A sky rider is pretty cool here. He going to be five five if I will minus my Gideon. He can be pretty big. So he can be even. 6-6 six, six, able to block his solar. I'm pretty sure that he won't. Okay, so he's going for blocks. Okay. Don't really know why, but okay. So let's go for 5. Yeah, sure. Okay, so one of the cut and lantern scout is good. So we will have another big guy. So now he can go for Tamiya again. Though at this point. Okay, language, language is fine. <laughs> so, um,. Even two languages, okay. So he decided to destroy his uh, Oblivion Sower, killing my Gideon, but he already did his stuff. No, he's not going to? Okay. I'm totally fine with it. So let's go for Advocate. Plus and Gideon making lumbering falls. Oh boy! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> shit happens. Um, well, 
Mm, let's go for lantern scout then. I <laughs> I messed up with my lens. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is fancy. This is very really fancy. Um, fine. Uh, I have blood Wheel for next turn. I uh, think. Let's see if he has blessed alliance. I don't really understand why he's, uh, what he's doing. To be honest, he could kill my Gideon previous turn, and he didn't. And now it's indestructible, and uh, he was just killing it for what? I don't understand. Okay, now, uh, so looks like I have no green. I no, I have another green. This was just probably wrong was uh, I tapped my lens beforehand wrong okay <coughs> so let's see so he has a lot of uh, ramp spells um, he's looking for his um, Lamog this is pretty obvious so let's see now now we should not uh, do bad stuff. Okay, let's drop another. Since uh, now let's make Lumbering Falls properly. Make uh, our Gideon. Plus Tamiya here and here. And drop our core with girl. And do some damage. And he can't uh, block us since he has no black mana. Fine, so we have. I will drop Bounty of the Luxor now. So, um, let's see, if he has Ulamog, he can, he will, and he need to kill our Tamiya, since she will just tap him, and uh, probably kill our Gideon, but looks like he has, uh, he hasn't his Ulamog. Okay, this is forest from previous cast of uh, Pilgrimage. Let's see what he's got. Probably nothing. Well, not killing our Gideon was a big, big mistake, but to be honest, I don't think that uh, at this point it was a big difference. Oh, nice. So Lumbran falls for f almost free. Gideon Manda Yep. Oh fine, this both of them fine. Um and uh, Chasm Guide, pretty cool I think as well. Uh, no, and we will plus this and go for attack. Well, it's pretty big damage. Uh, okay, guys, so here is the games, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. and. See you in the next time.